This morning in Health Watch, plastic surgery for men. It used to be primarily the nose and eyes, but thanks to Hollywood celebrities with well-defined jaw lines, chin implants are now all the rage. Joining us is Dr. Derek Antel, a plastic surgeon. Good morning to you. Good morning. I know that you, in fact, did a study that looked at this trend. Why yes. did you decide to study chins? Well, Maggie, I think that oftentimes the chin is an overlooked part of the face, and it can make a very positive impact both in men and women in how they look. What did you do for the study? Well, I was always interested in CEOs. It's been known that they tend to be taller than the average population. They're good-looking, well-spoken people. And I was curious if they might have stronger chins also. Give me some examples of high-profile people that mm. we see with strong chins. Well, Warren Buffett, uh, in terms of the business world, um, also John Mack, and on a softer chin would be Bill Gates. Bill Gates' chin is a little bit soft, but he's a self-made man. Uh -huh. He wasn't hired for the job. In terms of stars, I mean, it's George Clooney, uh, I mean, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Brad Pitt, they all have strong chins, and that's not something that you can exercise to make bigger. That's you either true. have it or you don't. So surgery is pretty much the only option. Surgery is the only option. And what would a chin implant uh -huh. entail? Well, chin implants, I'm going to show you on this plastic skull, this is plastic, are added to the front part of the chin right here. This is a chin implant. It's placed... Oh, may I see? Sure. It's just a plastic little... It's a soft rubbery material. Oh. And because it's flexible, you can put it through a small incision under the chin. You can pass it this way, and then you can bend it and pass it the other way. And it sits right on the chin to give you a stronger impression. And it also increases the distance under the chin to give you a cleaner look and minimize the double chin. Does it need to be replaced? No, they're typically in there for life once they're put in. But if for some reason you decided you didn't like it short term after the surgery, you could take it out. I've rarely had to do that. Are you seeing a lot of patients coming in and asking you for this? Well, actually, I've seen a doubling in the last five years wow. of people having chin implants. Sometimes it'll be done in conjunction with a facelift or a liposuction under here to minimize a double chin. Uh, I think that even though there are times of a recession going on, you don't have to have a recessive chin. And what, what are the other popular ones quickly? Well, men will also have eyelid surgery to have a more awake look, uh, Botox in between here to minimize the number 11 sign, and also rhinoplasty or nasal surgery. What women do? Women do yeah. all the same things. All right, Dr. Derek Antel. Thank you. Thank you.